I found a solution to my goal scoring problems on Football Manager while playing with Columbus Crew in the MLS. This tactic I'm using is inspired by Wilfred Nancy, which is the head coach currently at Columbus Crew and they are shredding the MLS scoring ridiculous amount of goals in the process. Hello guys and welcome to Dark Horse FM and in this video we're going to break down Wilfred Nancy's tactic at Columbus Crew on Football Manager 2023. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and also to like the video. It helps support the channel. Let's get into it. At the very start of the project, I struggled to replicate the system. I used my prior knowledge of Football Manager to try to cook up something aggressive in relation to Wilfred Nancy's philosophy and I gathered some information that my tactic, current tactic that I was using wasn't good enough. So I took a break from the project entirely because I remember my last, before taking the break, I think my last few games was like a draw, one draw and then one defeat and one win. That's my first three games in the season was one win, one defeat, one draw and then we had a goal difference of zero and that wasn't very very helpful. So after taking a break, I went on to read The Art of Football Manager by FM Blogs, famous ebook on football management and coming back to the project, I reviewed all the material that I gathered when creating the tactic and doing research for the tactic and then I went on to make a few tweaks to my system and I was able to get good results immediately after that. You can see that I went on to beat Orlando City almost instantly after losing to Philadelphia by two goals to nil. We beat Sporting, Kansas City, DC United as well. We went on a four game winning run and then we did go on to meet New England and New York City FC. The tactic does have its drawbacks so we're going to get to that much later in the video. To my surprise, I didn't need to change too much when I went on to tweak the tactic to make it more effective. What I did first was to move my defensive or my central midfielders into the defensive midfield role. You can see that I had a deep line playmaker on support and a central midfielder on support duty at the same time. With Wilfred Dancy's philosophy, the deep line playmaker tends to act like a, Cali a Carrillero and a roaming playmaker at the same time. So he's slightly operating in the half space where the inverted wing back is expected to be. That was the first mistake I made. So I had him play slightly higher up when he ought to be in the defensive midfield position somewhere in this region here. So what I did was to switch him to a second volante on support. So he's going to be slightly more aggressive and then act like a sort of roaming playmaker slash deep line playmaker. And then I went on to include the take more risk instruction into his player instructions. And then I moved the central midfielder into the defensive midfield role and then asked this player to play as a deep line playmaker on support DT and be sort of a holding midfielder in this role without being too plastered into the central defensive midfield position. At Columbus Crew, Wilfred Nancy's team plays with a lot of freedom and movement and the three centre-back kind of exemplify this. What I did first was to use central defenders on defend all across the board and that wasn't very helpful because I realised that as much as the central defenders are very patient, almost too patient when in possession of the ball, they kind of tend to switch or make this long switch pass, um, this long switch passes when their opportunity presents itself. They actually beat the opposition into a press and then try to make those long switching passes into, into players in wide regions. So I opted for two ball playing defenders on defend duty and then opted for a central defender on stopper duty to try to close the space between the defensive midfielders that are obviously going to get slightly higher up. The central or the goalkeeper in this sense is a super keeper on defend duty because I want him to be primarily possession based first before trying any other thing too fancy. So he's a super keeper on defend duty. My wing backs, I did opt for complete wing backs on attack at first, and I noticed that that was also a problem for us because we were exposed defensively. So what I did was to switch both complete wing backs to support duty, and then both of them already been asked to take more risk. But my complete wing back on the left hand side, I changed him to play as a wing back on support duty, trying to offer a lot more solidity to cover for the second volante that is going to venture far forward. The attack was a lot down to my preference, really, because I couldn't find that much information on reference Nancy's tactic in attack. So, what happens is that I created two variants of the tactic. So, I have a variant where the players are slightly more narrow, they play with a 3 4 3 system. So I'm not really precise as to what the position of the wide forwards are, whether they are strikers, whether they are attacking midfielders or wide players. So I went on to create a different variant of the tactic that involves using two attacking midfielders in one variant and then the other variant has two wide players playing as wide attackers. And then for my striker, I did start with a, you know, the advance forward on attack duty in this sense, but then I realized that the pressing forward was slightly more effective for this role and slightly more effective for the tactic that we we're trying to replicate. So 
in the left wing row that you're seeing here we have an inside fold on support duty and then you have on the right hand side an inverted wing back or inverted winger sorry playing on attack duty having two variants of the tactic helped us to be less predictable in attack but the tactic of course has its drawbacks like all tactics that are possession based high pressing high defensive line you will come up against teams that will try to hit you with long balls over the top and you might want to be more cautious when you're playing against one team and try to be wary of your defensive line you should have enough cover with the back three and the super keeper on defend duty there's going to be enough cover but switching to a cautious mentality is quite good as well here are also other tweaks that you can make to the tactic when you're playing in game you might notice that your center defender might get a yellow card or one of your players might get a yellow card try to stop that player first give him some few minutes try to caution him and tell him to calm down try to get him to take less risk when tackling but before that that is the one player you're going to want to take off so you don't get a red card soon enough the tactic is not very aggressive in tackling so you shouldn't really have too many red cards but in a situation where your player has a yellow card you should want to look to swap that player first before any other player and then if your players start to get tired you can start to swap them with like for like roles look for players that can also play that role like i have a player here in what's his name sans if i could just find him will sans is my current left back he is the secondary left back because my main left back is injured so i had to just play with will sans and he's been doing quite well in his role and it has also helped him develop as he's playing every single game that what you that i've been facing against all the other teams and we've been winning even though my main left back is injured so trying to get those young players in there if you do have young players try to feel them into the tactic they would try to perform massively i do have another replacement for Darlington Nagby in here Darlington Nagby is my deep line playmaker on support by the way so Darlington Nagby is here I do have a replacement for him as well in Zawadzki Sean Zawadzki so he's a player that steps in it's always nice having all those players that you can throw in if one of your main player does get injured or they're getting tired try to make those substitutions as soon as possible and the last tweak I want to mention is when you're playing against teams that are using a 4-2-3-1 I tend to use the wide version of the 4-3-3 system that we're talking about but if i'm playing against a team that has a back three system i tend to use this other version of the tactic it has two attacking midfielders so you're going to try to choose which version you want to use i'm going to attach both tactics in the description so you can download those versions of the tactic and then see how it works out for you if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like on it and also subscribe to the channel to help support the channel i enjoy that you guys stayed this long in the video thanks a lot you do support the channel a lot and i enjoy that i love that thank you very much i'll see you in the next video